It's Go Go Media Girl, and I'm Mabanang with Nana and Gladys. So, what are you guys doing? Um, we do African couture, but very modern, very hip, very street. That's basically what we do. We specialize in females and males. Okay. Yes, but she's the face of the brand, actually. I'm Why just her? I'm just, because, you know, women and fashion. Yes, guys, we just the idea and the power behind it, but she's the face of the brand. Mm. Did you ever think of doing a brand, maybe your face on it? I'm um, not really. I think female faces sell more than guy faces, but that's my opinion on that. <laughs> okay. And um, what's the name of you guys' brand? Okay, our brand is called Gladys B. Couture. We're based in South Africa in Centurion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, what kind of Af what's African hip? What's, what's African that? African hip, like um, you see the cap I'm wearing. We've got shoes as well, like you can see the shoes she's wearing. So we basically take the material and try and bring it into like a more street fashion, okay. you know. So we can take your jacket that you have, and we can add some Africa to it. Really? Yes. How are you gonna do that? How are we gonna do that? We might just take out the collar and put an African print instead of that collar there, or we can give you shoes that match the jacket that you can wear. That would be nice. So, yes. Okay, <laughs> yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. hmm, the idea behind the brand is really to promote um, African textile um, for all from all parts of Africa. So we have textile from South Africa, North Africa, more the corners of Africa, and, um, you know, Western flavored styled, um, but also very modern. So yeah, so that's what we sell in our clients. Um, so why do you guys um, prefer African styles instead of all the choices that are out there? You could have chose something else, but you chose this thing. Why? Because we are in Africa, and I think it's our heritage. Her mother's been in this industry for a while as well. She also does African couture for older um, ladies. So we thought we could bring it to the more younger version, more younger people, and yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Um, so what skills do you guys need when you're making your street African clothes? And basically, we do a lot of research outside. We go to a lot of parties, a lot of events to see what people like. We ask a lot of questions, and we basically custom to suit the person. You know, so if you tell us you want those colors, you can give us a, a brief idea of what you want, and we can put it together for you depending on the colors you like and what you don't like. Okay. Anything you want to add? Well, we also do a lot of research as to, you know, what the international uh, markets, um, the trends out there are. Because as much as we're in Africa, we also want to keep our customers and the people that love our brand, you know, upfront. We want to keep them abreast as to what is happening out there in the world so that they don't feel out of space, that it's all about Africa. But we want to mix the, the West and Africa together and just merge the tastes together as well. Yeah. Um, so what school skills do you guys use when you're um, doing the designing? School skills. Well, first of all, you should be able to draw a little bit. Not, you don't need to be a, a great artist, but you should be able to put some lines on paper just to see how it will look. And you should be able to cut the material as well, you know, using scissors. You know how you, you always cut um, stick figures with, out, of, out of paper? You can do the same thing with clothes. You can cut the, the design you want from paper before you cut it onto the material itself. So that's school skills that you can use as well, yeah. Cool. Um, like, so, anything? <laughs> I mean, it's very simple. From four children, um, children like to play with dolls and stuff. Um, we're able to make kids' dolls, you know, dressed up in African material, but they're also very modern as well. So, um, marketing be able to sell your your products also that's important um, if you can't talk and you know how to, to put explain things quite simply that's important okay cool um well that was um nana and gladys and gogo midi girl thank you very much okay.